Hey guys, this is Badger XI, and I'm here with episode 2 of Badger's Blind App Review, while I review a game without a script, and while I'm playing the game. But, since this game, as you can see, has a variety of characters, I decided to bring the most interesting character I know into this review, my brother, Burn. Say hi, Burn. Hi. We'll be reviewing Crossy Roads today, and Burn will be giving us some of his um, some of his insight on the game, and also he'll be playing the game. So here you go, Burn. Take it away. Okay. Now please bear with me on this. This is the very start of the game, so um, I don't have have uh, lots of characters unlocked, but. It'll be alright, you'll get to get gist of the gameplay, so burn, just go. You use that to drag it the way. Alright. Alright, first, section one of the review, the history. Crossy Roads is a spin-off of the game Frogger. Of Frogger. Frogger was a big hit and is very notorious today. Crossy Roads is an app that you probably have heard of and is known for being very, very, very addicting. That pretty much covers this. This game does not have much history. So now we'll move on to episode two, the presentation. Crossy Roads, for what it's going for, has pretty awesome graphics by my standard. I know they're blocky, but you could say the same about Minecraft. And it really brings back that old Frogger feel. Now, I do have something about the sound. I have played this game on my phone, is which I is and have a lot of characters on here. I recently got it on my computer and is good and the controls at first seem a little wonky. Get used you get used to them quick. Now, something about the sound eh eh I don't really care much for it. There's no music in the background, just a few sounds of cars and things. It's not exactly what I call quality quality sound but other than that graphics and other things there is something else that this game lacks uh burn if you take it away the gameplay when i started to play it i saw um badger play it and i was thinking they didn't let you put the difficulty on it so I think they should let us put the difficulty so it, if you're like a pro at it you should be able to put it on hard it and if you're a newbie just put it on easy and if you're pretty good or not so good you can put it on medium now I was thinking if you now I was thinking if you um played. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. That. You played um, um, like the first map would be like easy, and every time you accomplish a map, it goes up by the level like we e easy to medium to hard and to and then to like expert. Yes, Multion is right, and he did do a very good thorough explanation on this. Even though this game has a good amount of challenge, it does lack difficulty settings. Also, something about the gameplay that is negative is, eh, you can unlock different characters, and the variety is amazing, and some of the best that I've seen in the app before. But... Even though some characters have different settings, they're all the same. No matter if you get the zombie or anything, they're just the same thing. Maybe if there were some sort of ch new challenges, like maybe a lava level or maybe a boss fight, something. Like Multion said, a variety of different levels, something to live up the app a little bit. Because even though it is very fun and some of the most addicting, what I'd like to say, eh, Frogger... That's the kind of genre I'm going to go through with Frogger um, Frogger game that I have seen. It does get old after a while. Of course, it's addicting and a lot of fun with your friends, but just, I don't know. 
Also, the positives about this gameplay. It's fun, and like I said before, it is challenging. Getting a new character in high score is always rewarding, and well, <laughs> it's always funny to see Max fail, or anyone in general. So yes, and the other positives of gameplay are sort of hard to explain since it's such an obscure genre. It's only been done right, really, by this. This game is notorious, and well, Max... Let's keep it short and sweet. I say let's move on to the verdict. Overall, Crossy Roads is a very good game with ex with addicting and sometimes even exciting gameplay. It can give you a good few laughs with your friends and even some challenge. But that, even though the variety of characters is good, that variety of different levels and challenges is still there. The graphics are good, the sound's alright, but all those combining things together, this is no me this is by no means a bad app. I just cannot settle with giving this app a nine. I think me and Multion are agreement here. This app gets our eight. rating of an eight, eight point five. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. It's a lot of fun and hopefully on the next. I think this went really well. I think me and multi will review an even other game. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.